All right, guys, this is a review of the Lofter Four Slice Stainless Steel Toaster. I've had this for about a month now. I uh, figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a quick review uh, about how it works. Uh, a few things about it. You know, it's got, it's stainless steel. Uh, it actually has a mirrored finish along the side that wraps around to the back, or around the other side, I should say, uh, on the back as well. It's got the, uh, the stainless steel, this black border around it, uh, which... You know, works out pretty well. It, it actually has a very nice look. Uh, in the back, you know, like all toasters have these. Not a lot of people actually clean these out very often, but they've got these little cleanage trays. This is, you know, about a month's worth of toast. So it's actually not that bad for a month's worth of toast. Um, I'll put it back in for now. But basically it's, you know, pretty, pretty simple. You slide those things out, you clean them out. Um, and you don't have to worry about you know things getting getting backed up in there, so that's that's just how that works. Now the cord, it's a longer cord. Um, you can see here I've actually got it I've actually got it wrapped up. There's a storage spot for the for the cord, so it starts off here. I've got it wrapped around just to make the cord a little bit shorter, so I don't have a bunch of cord over. Uh, you know, over my counter so I don't have a you know cord kind of in the way. You know, I've got this other appliance here. It's got this longer cord. It's kind of sit in the way at the moment. So, you know, I usually have that tucked back in behind there to kind of, you know, be a little bit more hidden. Uh, with this, it's actually got this built in. So you can kind of, you know, wrap the cord around a little bit. That just makes it a little bit easier as far as that's concerned. So I do like that. That's actually, you know, nice that that has that included. Um, and it's included because that way, if you want to store your toaster, not have it on the counter, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the reason that I got this particular toaster was because I want it to be on my counter and I want it to look good, you know? And so that's the thing, if you're going to have a toaster, um, uh, let's go ahead and, you know, have it, have it out so you can use it every day. And so I have it on my counter. It looks good. Uh, functions really well. So a few more, uh, things about it and how it works. So I'll go ahead and plug it in so you guys can see how this works. Some of the additional features here. So there are six settings on here. You can't see the numbers very well um, on the video, um, but there are numbers on there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So you can see the there are numbers there. You know, but what I like about this toaster, which I will show you, is that when you go ahead and have it on a setting, I'm going to go ahead and just choose it real quick. You can see right here, the LED actually is just setting it displayed and it has a timer. So it actually counts down the time until the toast is done. Now, never had that on a toaster before. I think that's great. Um, very, very nice to actually have that feature available. So uh, if you turn it, you know, I turned it down to a two and it changes the time, you know, if I turn it back up to a four, you know, that will go ahead and increase that time. So the nice thing about this is you can actually see the time that's, that's left. Don't have to kind of just guess when the toast can be done. It's just going to happen. The other thing that's nice about this is there's a cancel button. So usually you kind of pull up on your toaster when you go, if you want to get out early. You don't have to do that. You can just push the cancel button. It'll pop right out. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Uh, they got a reheat button on here. Now the reheat button, it's interesting about that. Go ahead and push that. It just says 30 seconds on whatever your setting is. So if you have the setting on three, four, whatever it is, reheat just does it 30 seconds at that setting. So if you got toast, and it let, stayed out for a little bit too long and it got cold, you can put it back in here, put it on reheat and warm back up. So again, that's nice. So the other thing that it has on here is defrost. So defrost again, so you can see here at the timer, minute 46, defrost, it adds additional time based upon, based upon uh, what setting you have here. So it's gonna add additional time to defrost the toast. So some people have toast, they'll have it in the freezer. Um, not something I commonly do. My parents used to do that. 
they'd buy a bunch of bread. Um, you know, we, we lived in a small town and, and uh, you know, and they had to buy a bunch of bread at once. And so they'd go and freeze it. And so you run out of bread, you had to get some bread out of the toast, or bread out of the freezer. And so if you have that situation, you freeze your bread, things like that. There's a defrost thing on here. We can actually use that. So now you, of course, could just, you know, put it on a little bit longer, put it on a higher setting. But it's just nice having that additional little feature that's on there as well. So I do like that. Um, to me, that LED countdown, that's phenomenal. I like that. Um, I like the stainless steel. I like the look. You know, it's got these extra wide slots up here. These are one and a half inch wide. They are made so you can have bagels, you know, um, different types of bread in there. Uh, you know, it works just like every toaster. You know, you go ahead and you push you push it and the, the slots will move in. I'll show you those slots real quick just so you can see that again. So, you know, every toaster does this. You just push in, go ahead and it moves those slots in. So, simple. Not, not all that complicated, right? It's a toaster, right? <laughs> but the deal is, with a toaster, you know, you, you get a toaster not very often, right? You buy a toaster... And the purpose of that is you're going to have this toaster for 15 years, right? Uh, the last toaster I had, I think I had it for 15, 20 years, right? Had it for a long time, but it wasn't a very nice looking toaster. I kept it not on the counter as a result of that. You had to take it out, you know, take it out, put it away. It got all left out anyways, just didn't look good. This looks good. Has a nice LED countdown. I do not mind this being on the counter at all. So I'm, I'm going to say, you know, spend a little bit extra, get a little bit nicer toaster. This is a good one. Uh, like it a lot. I would recommend it. Okay. Thanks.